right, in this video, I'll give you 11 reasons why uh, OpenAI or Chat GPT cannot replace my services. And for my haters and trolls who say, oh, you better get another career, oh, you better be worried. Uh, here's my response to you. And I spent some time researching uh, Chat GPT, checking out the resumes, checking people who used their services. So based on that, I've written down 11 points. So what you do is go through these 11, okay, timestamps will be put down below, and you tell me which point am I wrong, okay? I'm making it very transparent. I'm not going to delete anyone's comment. Prove, prove it to me where I'm wrong, okay? Here's my open challenge to you. Why OpenAI and ChatGPT cannot replace my services, my services being resume rebrand, personal branding, one-to-one -one coaching. Okay, take anyone. All right, let's start with point number one. I'll give you an example to make it clear. India's population is 1.4 billion. Okay. And uh, most of the people cannot afford services or they like things for free. Even I like things for free. Okay, let's say, for example, I give you a free voucher. Will you say no? You'll say, of course. Even if you're not going to use it, you'll take the free voucher. If I give you 20% off, 50% off, $100 voucher, anything, you'll take it. Even if it's 1% off, you'll say something better than nothing. So you and me both are same. We love freebies, caps, t-shirts, keychains, anything silly. We feel happy. Okay. So given our human nature that we love for free, it's guaranteed that... OpenAI and ChatGPT, given its free services, okay, a little premium is $20, let's assume it's free. They will all take this service, $20 a month or for free, why not? For free, maybe you'll have to have a few delays. Now, if 1.4 billion people make their resumes from ChatGPT, 1.4 billion, and there are 100,000 jobs, who will get the job is my question. They all took chat GPT's service, right? Who will get the job? 100,000, okay? 100,000 vacancies are there. And who are these 100,000 people? Is it based on luck? Is it based on oh, hard work? Is it based on oh, open chat GPT made his CV more nice than the other guy's CV? Or rather, okay, as you thinking and trying to answer that, let me give you the second point. Give me the answer for the first point. Huh? So, who will get the job? The second one is a more realistic example. Let's say I am the CEO of a company. I'm the CEO. Okay, running a successful business. I have one vacancy, one. Okay, one. And uh, let's put it something very ordinary, admin. Okay, administrator. Let's assume all my candidates have the same experience five years. All of them are example men. All have taken the chat GPT service of $20, all the 100. And I get all 100 CVs on my desk. Now, if their experience is the same, they are all men. They all have more or less the same skill. If you are a recruiter, whom would you choose? They all look the same, right? Obviously, you'll say, oh, the ones that stand out. So don't you think all those guys who took chat GPT try to make their CV stand out? You think they haven't? You think you're the only smartest guy? Then it becomes a matter of luck, right? Okay. Third point. Answer these questions. Huh? This is all people are using chat GPT. Uh, you can't say, oh, other people may not know chat GPT. What nonsense. Come on, are you that dumb? Okay, number three, people are telling me, be worried about chat GPT, oh, free service. My dear, there are books, there are PDFs, there are websites, there are freelancers on Fiverr or Guru or Upwork for $5. There are AI automated uh, systems online that will edit all the CVs. In fact, do you know that there are websites that give you free templates? Free. 
you can download these templates just google search don't don't believe a word i say so i'm asking you if there are already these systems in place which are giving you free service free websites so what is chat gpt doing that is so different from this aren't these websites also asking you put your name education experience uh, contact details and we will give you the content we will give you you can even choose the color you can choose the layout you can choose the design you can choose compact cv elaborate cv wide cv small cv colorful cv creative cv chat gpt is doing the same thing only difference is you put one line tick 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 everything will come out and chat gpt is only giving you text these ai websites give you color layout design photograph editing everything sometimes for free and this has been there for the last i think what 10 years 15 years so what is chat gpt doing more that these websites already haven't done and here you have more options okay so answer my third one and listen it's the same information that is available on pdf and books i how do you think i educated myself around uh, when 20 25 years ago books i don't refer any more books okay so i give you three points point number 4 here here my question huh? how much does the ai know you how much does chat gpt know about you only what you type in right name experience so is that enough it uh, does it know your personality does it know your strengths does it actually evaluate you as a human being does it know your weakness does it know your fears your insecurities does it talk to you and ask you what were the jobs that you were doing before what was easy what was hard uh, why did you resign from this company what are you looking for next what are the challenges that you face does it customize and tailor make this cv based on these fears insecurities strengths and weaknesses or does it just ask you a couple of data points and gives you a couple of words answer no point number 5 point number 6 if something is urgent no something is important sorry important would you go to a robot or would you go to a human being example let's say you have to have a surgery you're going to die heart open heart surgery would you tell the doctor i prefer this ai this robot to operate on me or would you want a human being to do it let's assume your daughter or your son life saving surgery would you say no i prefer the ai ai has some software all that update let it do it would you do that or would you rather have a human being a person who you can talk to who you can interact do it okay you will say no this is not surgery man who the hell? this is just a resume okay fine then let's assume it's something that is not life and death slightly important which comes to point number 7 okay let's assume you uh there are two options one is you go to a restaurant where there's a robot like and serves you okay just a robot just you know whatever rendition of a robot i'm just doing it has wheels it comes serves you another one is where you talk to a waiter where you talk to a waitress you ask them what is the special today what would you recommend what would you suggest and they tell you and okay which is a special offer okay would you prefer that or would you prefer just a what welcome uh, and you have to choose if you are in a hurry and you have to run fast you will just take this guy like a vending machine but if you want to enjoy the experience you want to have those moments you you want to have a human being you take the later one right so if you are in a hurry you will take the because it doesn't matter so the resume which is decides your future your career your earnings doesn't matter in fact you must have seen some chefs right chefs when they cook uh, like japanese you know they cook in front of you and they make would you rather have that or would you have a robot two arms just tick 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 cutting in do you enjoy that more or talking to a person next one number 8 tell me huh, where i'm wrong i'm waiting you know the pareto principle 80 20 okay the 20% 
enjoy 80% of the success or whatever. If you're competitive, would you like to do what the masses are doing? Or would you like to stand out from the rest? I'll just leave you with that. You tell me, if you want to stand out from your competition, would you do what everyone else is doing? Or would you make sure that you stand out competitively? Number nine. Okay, chat GPT has come out. Do you seriously think a software that just got released a few days ago or that was made public a few days ago is perfect? Do you think it can take over human beings within just a few days? Do you think everyone's going to terminate their employees? Oh, you all go, man. Come on. Chat GPT will do. Will you do it if you're running a company? If you had to take a service, would you say, okay, bye-bye tax uh, accountants, bye-bye this guy. You'll say, oh, they are professionals. Why, your resume, any Tom, Dick and Harry can do. If your profile is so easy, boss, why do you even have to worry about chat GPT? You do it by yourself, no? <laughs> See, if you were that intelligent, you wouldn't need chat GPT. Number 10 is, simple question, have you tried it? I spoke to people who tried it, and I've actually seen the CVs, and I laughed. There was nothing to worry about. Point number 11. You must have heard of the brand Rolls-Royce, right? Rolls-Royce, okay. Uh, I know I'm not a Rolls-Royce, but just, just be patient, okay. You heard of the brand Rolls-Royce, right? Okay. Rolls-Royce is not made by AI. It is not made by robots. It's made by human beings and who do it with their hands. In fact, even, I don't know what you call the dashboard or when you sit down, that area, I saw where they stitch with their hand, they do the embroidery with their hand, they even paint with their hand, even small. In fact, uh, the top, no? uh, the top part of the, some of the Rolls Royce Phantom and all that, it seems it shows like the stars of the sky. Those are Swarovski diamonds. They do it individually with their hands, individually. Huh? There are more than a thousand or something, whatever, they do it with their hands. Then. Here's, here's my question. Why do you think Rolls-Royce doesn't get AI or robots? They can easily afford billions, man. In fact, uh, you know, Rolex, right? Rolex the watch. I've seen some videos where repairing of the Rolex or creating a Rolex. The guy, there is a guy who is old, who puts the, you know, I don't know what he called, bifocals or whatever, his eye. And he literally using very, very sensitive uh, equipment, he dismantles the Rolex and he puts everything with his hand. Why do you think there's so much of pride in uh, the workmanship or craftsmanship? Why don't they ask an AI or a robot to do that? Now, I know what you'll say, hello, you're not Rolex man, come on. You're not uh, Rolls Royce, fine, I'll agree with you. But then, uh, why is there a still a market for people who paint? You know, painting? Why doesn't everyone get from AI? Why are there still people who do Photoshop and Illustrator, who do websites, who write content, who are journalists, who are reporters? Why don't they give everything from AI? In fact, you can copy paste, no? From online. Why do they still exist? In fact, I give you the example before, no? I told you these free websites, these templates, all for free are available online for years, not now, from the past 15 years. Then why do people still pay me? Is it because, oh, you'll say, Aloy, they're all dumb. Let me assure you, the people who can afford to pay my services are smarter than me, earn more than me, and are more successful than me. Okay? They are not... Uh, Dumb. If someone can afford to pay $230 an hour for my services, okay, that is for consulting, they're definitely not poor. See, end of the day, I'll tell you this much. There is a market for free, okay, freebies. There is a market for cheap charlies. There is a market for freeloaders. There is a market where people want to pay money and then there is a premium market. I've always focused on the premium market. People who can afford. Whether, and you're assuming, you're assuming what my services are without trying 
trying it out, which I'm not asking you to try it out. Just like I asked you, did you try chat GPT? Did you actually experience it? You haven't. So then how can you even just, I would tell you this, since chat GPT gives you free service or $20 a month, make 20 different versions of it. Simple, make 20. And just ask yourself, which one stands out? So is it based on guarantees or is it just luck? One final thing I'll give you before I conclude. One final thing. Okay. We human beings, no? We love human interaction. If we didn't love human interaction, we would be very happy when we call up a banking service and get an automated, please press two, please press one, please press three, please. We would have been very happy with that. Okay. We would have been very happy if uh, to go to a restaurant with all robots. We would have been very happy where we didn't have to deal with a human being. Human to human interaction is never going to go away by a software that was just made hardly a few weeks ago or a few months ago. I think this example will nail it in the head. Say down your building, let's say you're a corporate guy, down your building, there is one vending machine which gives you put a coin and get tea coffee and a little bit further ahead is one guy who actually makes tea coffee the way you like it okay and he interacts with you speaks to you and gives you that sandwich or that tea which one would you have gone for you know the tea seller in india 99.99 percent will only go to that tea seller will only go to that sandwich maker because they not only have the human interaction they can speak to the guy and Everyone likes to gather there. Nobody wants to be robotic. In the same way, the people who come to me, they want someone to give them personal attention, personally interact with them, and they are willing to pay a premium. For people whose value, whose brand value is $20 a month, who feel $20 or free, then you're right. Then you're not my customer. I'm not saying you're a bad person. You're not my customer. If you are happy with free and you're happy with cheap, just as for example, if I go to an iPhone store, if I go to an iPhone store and I say, man, your phones are too expensive. I, I can get cheaper. The Apple guy will not say, sir, we'll give you at a discount. He'll say, this is not meant for you. It's not for, this is, these products are only for Apple users and people who can afford to pay the premium for an Apple user. It's like going to Louis Vuitton or, a five-star hotel. There's a certain category that is meant to be there. And then there are certain categories that are meant for mass consumption. And then there are ones who go for cheap. So you decide which category you belong. And I'm not saying that's wrong. If you don't come to me, you're cheap. No. There are people who are charging much more than me. Like I told you, Gary Vaynerchuk. He charges uh, about $15,000 just for 30 minutes to pitch an idea to him. Just pitch an idea, he charges $15,000. People feel he's worth it to listen, to get his attention. There are celebrity stars who charge millions just to spend some few minutes. So there's a market for that. And then there's a market who will download for free, use pirated copies, and prefer the cheapest is the best. So you decide where you belong. Because I am very clear where I belong. I know who my clients are. I know why I have to get those clients. And end of the day, no. very clear of my target market. So you decide what you want and you decide what is best for you. All right. I have given you 11 points. Decide whatever. I have given you 11 points with the timestamps. You tell me which one am I wrong? Where am I wrong? And uh, I'm very open to your criticism. Feel free. All right. Good, bad, ugly. Let me know your thoughts. This is me signing off. You guys take care.